so recently uh, I was lucky enough with the help help from my brother to be able to purchase this absolutely sensational example of a Stesco catcher uh, 420 uh, I thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown on it it's got a 30 horsepower Yamaha I think this is just a two-stroke one it's in immaculate condition uh, the Stesco catcher obviously has the rear step which is fantastic uh, this boat was purchased from Inverloch Marine in Victoria. Uh, it has a Yamaha tank on one side, battery on the other. Uh, what else can I tell you? It's got the rear front casting deck. Uh, plenty of space. Uh, the side pockets only go halfway along, but then uh, the original owner has mounted a fire, fire extinguisher on the other side. Uh, up the front, as you can see, as you get up here, you've got a anchor well. I've cleaned that out. I won't put the anchor in that, I don't think. Uh, then, of course, you've got nav lights. This is all on a Dunbeer trailer, which is in immaculate condition. Spare tyre. Winch is all great. Fantastic. So I just thought I'd do this video just in case anyone was thinking of buying one of these boats. What it, what this video doesn't do is is give you... Uh, a full perspective of its size because it is actually quite a large boat uh, that's the um, transducer mounting plate that they make and put on all of these uh, what else have we got here rear handles obviously grab rails which is good strap down so I'll just scan out from the side of it take you around the side so this is it here She's not, too, she's not too bad, she's in pretty bloody good condition. This is 2019, I thought I'd also document this for myself. So in a few years time I can look back on this and go, okay, all right, what have I done to it? So the first thing that I've got to do is replace those letters there. Then also replace this Dunbeer sticker, which is a $22 replacement, and then I should be good to go. Here's another look back in it. So you can see there's just a little bit of dirt on the carpets, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna shampoo today see if they come up good my my sounder will be mounted off a ram mount which comes off here and comes out to the side so that should be good um, we've got some some sort of brackets here but yeah oh yeah and then down here we've got a full battery we've got rear nav light switches on the back and that front switch on the battery operates the sounder so that's how she's set up at the moment. I did all the wiring yesterday, coming up the side, which is, uh, it, it took a little bit of time, but that's all done now. So yep, that's pretty much it. As you can see by the motor, it's barely got a mark on it. It's brand new, I think it's done between 15 and 25 hours all up. So this boat's had minimal use since it came out in 2011. Uh, can't wait to get it on the water and uh, do a bit of a test ride for you guys. If you've liked this video, hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll be sure to see you next time. Thank you.